Alright, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Also, let me start with Happy Valentine's Day. That's right, it's Valentine's Day, and we are playing Kaiju, a fun little dating sim with Kaijus. I was deciding what I wanted to do today for the holiday. It was either this, the Dead by Daylight dating sim, or that one uh, Sucker for Love, the Cthulhu dating sim. And I was kind of... Save those other two in the back pocket for Halloween. Hold those around. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I picked up all those, I think, originally for last October, because they're all various assorted monsters. So as you can see, this one isn't probably too spooky related. So it's good I had stuff saved for today. So I think... Uh, probably do a little bit of this. I don't know how long this is. It looks like a fun little game. I guess let's just, let's just hop in and see how it goes. Chu, he, they, the, be, her. Wow, we got a whole selection, but let's go with Chu. We are Chu Chu. Our pronouns are train. World breaking Hello. news report. I am Brevity Orms, and this is my co host, Lucky Cole, with world breaking news. <sighs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Raban Omar, I think that's how it's pronounced, was my world, and the news is that we broke up. Oh. Aw, Lucky, I'm so sorry to hear that. Huh. Also, a colossal creature has appeared near the North Pole. Yeah, I'll just kind of as a side note. Hmm. Are you bringing up Dai Kaiju to reflect from addressing your breakup? Why, yes I am, Brevity. Please don't draw attention to it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but the gigantic Kaiju known as Gigachu is also a significant story. Ah. We may have buried the lead there. <sighs> like Raman Omar buried my heart. Literally. How am I even alive? Uh. Let's go to the satellite footage. Jumping in hard mm. immediately. Are you hiding your feelings behind satellite footage again? Well... I also wanted to show Gigachu moving via keyboard or controller. Oh. It's healthy to cry, Lucky. Uh. More on the story as it develops. You crying or the, or the kaiju? A little bit of both, Becky. See, we move the kaiju with the controller. I can move it around so the world can feel the pain I feel right now. Let's see, dude. Okay, C is the menu. V is all the monsters. Okay, so who do we have? We got Mothra. We got... Uh, uh, who is the ankylosaur looking guy? That guy. Okay, I... Uh, See, the closest Godzilla plant thing I could think of would be Biolante, but that doesn't look like it would fit that. A bird guy. We got Falco. We have, ooh, a volcano. That's actually a fun design. We got, yeah, we got the, the, the girl from Moana at the end. And we got Seahorse Ghidorah. Oh fuck! Oh, who do we who do we go after first? I'm so torn. You know, also this is started. Eh. Now nah, I'll, I'll save that thought for another time. I right, feel like I kind of jumped in a little quick with this. Oh, we could just walk on the land, and we could destroy everything. Take that, pyramids. Hmm. I feel like we should go for a classic. I feel like we should go for Ghidorah. Let's go for a pool party. Oh! <laughs> a stately three-headed sea serpent has suddenly surfaced in the Indian Ocean. Hmm. The aquatic triumv triumvirate pur pur purportedly holds an authority over the denizens of the deep and has been dubbed Queen Ghidorah by prominent oceanologist Z Steve Ziso. 
Pikachu has gained audience with Queen Seedora. Oh. Oh, do we, ha like, go to a place? Oh, we do. Oh, where do we take Seedora on for, like, a date? Uh, hmm. But we want some place by the ocean. You know, we want we want to make a good first impression, so we want to like some place she would like. Okay, we can't wrap around. No, not Moai. Let's save that for the volcano. Nope. Let's go classic. Let's go Tokyo. Who doesn't love Tokyo? Oh. Uncommonly charming Gigachu capture catches Aquatic Keen Sidora at Tokyo Tower. Right, that just kind of looks like the Eiffel Tower. Hmm. What has driven the Kaiju to bully our beloved Tokyo Tower? I mean, the shape looks like it could help for a few things, but I don't think they're that far in the relationship yet. Well... There, there is a language of love in, le in the leveling of landmarks, Lucky, and each strike can communicate compatibility. What? What you talk about, Brevity? Am I allowed to say that? Eh, I'm a, I'm a TV host. I can say whatever I want. Are you suggesting that Kaiju are wooed by wanton destruction? Yes. Indeed. And Queen Sidora is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I will try to narrate the date as we go live at the scene. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu come here often? It's Tokyo, of course we come here often. Okay, so if the scene, okay, yes, eh, and not really, but yes. <laughs> oh, we power washed that tower a little too much. Queen Sidora is eager for Gigachu to show them around. Mm -hmm. How is Gigachu feeling? Uh... I, since as a queen, I would say honored. Ah. Queen Sidora appreciates the admiration, but is seeking an equal. Oh, okay. So she, we, she lo she's looking for a king. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this Gigachu's first time dating royalty? Uh, let's be honest. Yes. We're going big. First go. Queen Sidora is glad that Gigachu is down to earth. <laughs> There's not going to be much left for the earth once they're done with this. <laughs> Queen Sidora wants to know what first attracted Gigachu to them. Hmm. I mean, I got—I was gonna say scales, you know, lizard on lizard, but I, I gotta say the three heads. You got again, be honest. Ah. Queen Sidora hopes that Gigachu is more multi-faced than Chu Sieb so far. Mm. Does Gigachu like Tokyo Tower? Oh yes, I love it to pieces. <laughs> Queen Sidora is delighted to have surfaced for Tokyo Tower and Tripoli for Gigachu. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu kiss on the first a deal breaker question? Hmm. Okay. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything yet. Yet, it seems. Ah, uh, let's see. She wants an equal. It's glad we're down to earth. You know what? Let's, let's play it slow. We're ambivalent to it. Okay, looks like she was alright with that. Ah. Gigachu's diplomatic effort is appreciated, even if Queen Sidora would have preferred to make a splash. Oh, <laughs> look at look at Sidora there. Ah, I, I love, I love the visuals you can get with like creatures like that. Testing the waters. Okay, looks like we got. So I'm guessing our goal is over. 
how many acts we gotta fill up that bar all the way. Oh, V. Queen Cedora, they, them. Literally, there's three of them. A career-oriented undersea royalty. All right, all right. Okay, so now we should go for... Should we go for another tower? Nah, no, we are a... What? Statue of Liberty. Let's keep, let's keep it on the ocean. Wait, career-oriented. What's a business place? Hollywood, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, that sounds smart. Oh, I would have predicted a trist. What? What? Is that? Is that a word? It's supposed to be trust. Anyway. Uh, I would not have predicted a choice between kaiju to be so underwhelming. Well, we shouldn't expect them to be very, to be compatible in every area. <laughs> I've been at on at least a dozen dates that were more destructive than what we've witnessed. Lucky, do you want to admit to that on the air? I'll admit to anything on the air. <laughs> they need a chance to test the waters and get to know each other. Hmm. I guess we're still getting to know Gigachu ourselves. Ah. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is the manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. I also may be reading a little too much into this. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lucky? Hey. Now would be a good time to remind our audience that the views expressed on this program may not reflect the views of the station or its parent company. Uh, we are not insinuating anything about our audience. <laughs> Please continue to enjoy our digital content. Oh. And it looks like Gigachu is trying to connect right now at the Golden Gate Bridge. Hmm. Is Gigachu educated? Oh, we're a self-learner. Ah. Oh no, as if traffic could get any worse. Gigachu finished off a very prestigious finishing school. He also studied there. Mm. What is Gigachu's favorite color? Blue. For no reason specifically. Ah. <laughs> Queen Sidora's favorite color is pink. Oh, <gasps> that's me. Mm. Does Gigachu have a good relationship with Chu's family? Yeah. Yo, Kaiju gotta stick together. <laughs> Dating is easy. <laughs> Queen Sidora is hopeful that Gigachu will have a good relationship with their family as well. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu kiss on the second date? Yes. <laughs> See, we got to know you a bit. Now we, now we go, go in for the go in for the deal. Chu does. <laughs> I feel like that that one head is getting left out a little bit. Ah, oh, I got an achievement. Giga Chu's first great date. Testing the waters. St still act one. Hmm. Didn't get anything more there. Okay, let's go a little more inland now. Maybe not the desert. Uh, see, career-oriented, a career-oriented kaiju. Tetro Amazonas. I don't know what that is. I want to say it's. A, it looks like a educated place. Let's go there. Hey. Brevity, did you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm hmm? Does Gigachu poop? I mean, that would technically be the number two question, but. Nah. <laughs> no, that's number two. 
I always seem to be predicting these ga game writing before they come up. Okay. The question that is intriguing to our audience is how are you so in tune with it, the intentions of these kaiju? Is it your degree in communications? No, it's this it's this translator I have. Well. I practice Ishin Denshin Do. Do. What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? Are you a traitor you have to tell us? Uh-uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Hmm. What's your sense of Queen Sidora? Ah. They desire a partner to rule alongside. Ah. Will incompatible answers disqualify Gigachu from a leadership position? <laughs> I would speculate that Queen Sidora appreciates diverse ideas. Ah. They have plenty of time to achieve consensus where it counts. Oh. I mean, there's she's got three heads. She's probably got to be used to getting a consensus. Let's see your insight in action and learn more at the Teatro Amazonas now. Hmm. What's Gigachu's take on walls? Eh, neutral. A wall's a wall. Ah. Queen Sidora considers walls to be important in politics. Oh, okay, I didn't know we were getting political at that. I thought we were just talking home decor. Hmm. Does Gigachu dream? I mean... Are we talking about literal dreaming? Are we talking about having goals and aspirations? I mean, who knows? Gigachu might not sleep. You don't know Gigachu. But yes. Gigachu dreams of being under the sea with Chu's queen. Mm. Who is Gigachu's hero? The Three Stooges, Spongebob, or Cherubdis. I don't know who that is. I'm going with the Three Stooges. We can learn a lot from them. You know, there, there's just so much you can learn from Larry, Curly, and Mo. <laughs> Queen Sidora doesn't like their shtick. Oh, that that might be it. That's gonna be a deal breaker for me. Mm. Was Gigachu's outlook on life optimistic? I mean, a after that answer Sidora gave, I don't know, it might be a little pessimistic right now. Nah, but we look on the brighter side of life. Ah. Queen Sidora is one third optimistic. Okay, so I got a good in on that head. Big on bridges? Yeah. They're, they're fun little obstacles to work over. Huh. Oh, hopefully this opinion will be water under the bridge. Hmm. What is Gigachu most proud of? Okay, we got I, we got to save this. So let's say brine. No, brain. Brian. Brian. Brian would be uh, sucking up too much. Also, I don't think we make Brian. I can't say we're proud of that. Ah. Queen Sidora is smitten with Gigachu's smarts. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu vegan? Yeah, we're gonna say no. Gigachu is into seafood, if if you know what I mean. Aww. I, I just love Sidora's, like, expression in that. Just love arm hands. Uh, halfway there. Oh, so do I just keep going until the whole thing's filled out? Uh, hmm. What is this place? The Nux Center. Let's go to the Nux Center. Let's go a little north. Cool things uh, down a bit. Brevity, I don't think I'm getting into the hang of this Ishin Denshin Do stuff. Huh? Why do you say that, Lucky? Huh. 
I wasn't sure about how that date went. Mm. The kaiju aren't so certain either. Hmm. Brevity. Do kaiju like the landmarks that they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Oh. What about the landmarks they dislike? Well... Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to my scuba instructor. Oh. <laughs> the unstoppable kaiju couple, Sigachu, are making a splash at Nux Center. Let's go live to the scene. Sigachu, a fun crossover mm. between Sonic and Nintendo. Is Gigachu philosophical? Don't, don't tend to... We could go for a thought, but not really go too deeply. Ah. Queen Sidora will need to educate... Queen Sidora will need to educate Gigachu on aquatic rel relativism. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu dance? Yes. I would say, yeah, we dance a bit. Ah. Unlike Queen Sidora's austere movements, Gigachu likes to make a splash. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into sports? Eh. Take him or leave him. <laughs> We're doing very neutral on ah. this date. Queen Sidora is actually an accomplished athlete. <laughs> no! Well, that got boosted up more than I thought. Torrents of Tenderness. Oh, okay, so I got probably we go through like three acts. See how things go. Okay, okay, we got likes and dislikes. So now, now we can start simping. Okay, Sudora so likes diplomacy, surfing, career, and gusto. Does not like litter, fishing, silliness, and cynicism. Ah, oh, that silliness, that one. That one's gonna be a red flag. Hello, Outcast Studios, how are you doing? We are dating, we are helping Kaiju date tonight. Okay, let's go, let's go down here to the lighthouse. We have a special interview with Major Pen Penjandrum. Ah. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Hmm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Oh, well, uh, right now. If things keep going like this, we'll say missionary. <laughs> we will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Hmm. We wouldn't want this information getting into the hands of the enemy. What? What, what enemy? They're, they're kaiju. I'm pretty sure uh, no one controls them. Huh? <laughs> I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. And I don't think the kaiju watch our program. Because not one has paid me a visit yet. I want some kaiju love too, you know. Eh. I suppose it will be alright to declassify a little since military might will always overcome love. <laughs> Doing well enough? Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> that's the best day anyone can ask for on Valentine's. Or the least, I guess, would be. Yeah. Our, impeter our impenetrable navy blockades will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh! <laughs> Sikachu just washed up at One Fathom Bank Lighthouse, and they're already making waves. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, I, I must go. Mm. And we must go live to the scene. I'll see, it's the perfect spot for these two. Is Gigachu comp is Gigachu complicated? Oh yes, we are very complicated. We're as complicated as the Lord of Kingdom Hearts. See, see, Or see the Queen Sidora is skilled at navigating complex relationships. Hmm. <laughs> what is the most important reason for marriage? Property, friendship, taxes. Taxes. 
<laughs> Do Kaiju pay taxes? <laughs> Is Gigachu ready to settle down in one place? Yes, we are ready to settle down in one piece. See, Dora is happy, is happy to have their love life under the sea. Mm. What Lois describes Gikachu? Hmm. Well, I mean, I can't really say Peacekeeper, because we're smashing up stuff. Neither. Ah. Queen Sidora is down for good trouble. Hmm. Which does Gigachu follow? The... Well, I mean, we're covered in hearts. It's the heart. <laughs> Queen Sidora will follow where Gigachu's heart leads. Aww. Such mm. a nice couple for them. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Of course, everything is worth fighting for. Even fighting. Goodbye, Lighthouse. They are united in resolving conflicts. Ah, uh, the three-head smooch. Okay. So I guess just as long as we get a neutral-ish ending, that's good. Oh, yeah, you know, let's go here. St. Basil Basil's Cathedral. If that if that general is setting up landmarks, like, uh, or setting up naval blockades, let's just go inland. Ah. As our kaiju couple's relationship reaches new depths, so too shall our reporting. Oh! Are we ready to do- Are we finally doing that deep dive on Gigachu? Does Chu have a secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Well... Gigachu appears to be wearing Chu's heart on Chu's sleeve. <laughs> Chu has that heart motif down. <laughs> we will be focusing on the maritime monarch, Queen Sidora. Oh. Are we going to explore the complexities of aquatic politics again? <laughs> you can't deep dive into the ocean without getting wet, Lucky. <laughs> I just needed a moment to put on my swim cap. How does one become queen of the sea anyhow? Mm. Surf competition. Oh, oh yeah, uh, really? That easy? Hmm. Maybe I'll try to be queen of the ocean. Uh, anyways, what are Queen Sidora's interests outside of surfing, of course? Ah, uh, Queen Sidora is a long-standing advocate for social justice and teaches underwater basket weaving to help rebuild coral reefs. Huh? How do they fi even find time to date? Does Gigachu ever get three hundred percent of Queen Sidora's attention? <laughs> The Royal Triumvirate is remarkably capable of playing multiple roles simultaneously. I mean, she has three heads after all. Oh. Must Gigachu forego Chu's own occupational ambitions for only a fraction of Queen Sidora's devotion? Ah. Gigachu might not care about a career and may be happy with a supporting role. <laughs> yeah, I quit this gig in a heartbeat to be royalty again. Again? But lucky, what? What backstory do you have? Hmm. Now that I think about it, is it socially acceptable for a sea queen to date a terrestrial titan? Or am I misremembering my maritime co cotillion classes? Well... It's not completely unprecedented, but navigating undersea society does pose a unique challenge. Oh! It looks like they're making more waves now. Let's go live to their latest date. I like these two monsters are just kind of doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. And we're just, I mean, well, actually, yeah, that's no different than normal TV with celebrities. Oh, we, got, we have to analyze every little aspect. Is Gigachu fashionable? Yes. Do you think we put all, on all these hearts for no reason? <laughs> Gigachu's style is sure to make a splash with undersea society. Mm -hmm. 
is Gikachu into tattoos. Eh, neutral on them. If you got a good reason. Ah. Queen Sidora's scales are too tough to be tattooed. Mm -hmm. Has Gikachu been more affected by positive than negative? Yes. Ah. Gikachu has mostly experienced smooth sailing. Mm. Is Gikachu afraid of heights? Were gigantic? Of course not. Oh! <laughs> Queen Sidora would rather keep things at sea level. Okay, that, that's an unfair question. Are you afraid of heights? No. Because if I'm not afraid of heights, that doesn't mean I love to be on heights. It means I just don't mind heights. I think Queen Sidora is being rather judgy. Mm. She has three noses to turn up at you. How is Gigachu at keeping secrets? I'm, I'm good. We'll say we're good. <laughs> Does, even if we're bad, we're saying we're good in front of all of you. Gigachu. Gigachu can be trusted with state secrets. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu moved by domes? Yes. I like a good dome or two. Especially two. I don't know why it's a dome. Oh. Domes are a popular undersea structure. Okay, then there we go. I answered my question. Mm -hmm. What was Gikachu's most formative experiences? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, Melting Ice Caps, or a KPG Extinction Event? I'm gonna go ex- no, ooh, Melting Ice Caps, because that gives more water. Yeah. Now, does that mean we melted them, or were you just got impacted by them? Becoming Monarch of the Ocean was Queen Sidora's. Mwah. Oh. Oh, we got more information. Sidora seeking a spirited but sophisticated suitor. Love languages, service, and giving. Wait, does that mean they love languages? Or that service and giving is what speaks to them really well? I assume it's probably that second one. Does it also mean that if we service and give to them, they like that? Or they are a serving and giving uh, kaiju? <laughs> Virtues, justice with fairness and leadership. Greek love style, pragma. Committed companionship. Okay. I, feel, I mean, I feel like we were, I was kind of getting that vibe. Okay, we gotta see, we gotta see Lady Liberty now. Ah. Sikachu continues their powerful pursuit of love. Oh. Their relationship has grown so strong. <laughs> uh, not strong enough. Hello. Oh, welcome back, mate. Major, I'm glad to see you want them get better. Uh, that's, that's not what I meant by not strong enough. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. Uh, I wasn't worried until you said that. Hmm. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Well, as I was saying, the relationship is not as strong as you think. Hmm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Ah. Well, uh, we, we've been reading your thoughts. We have those satellites now. Oh, well, hmm. I think you probably want to not look too much deeper into my thoughts. Our surveillance submarines have observed that their relationship was founded on ulterior motives. <gasps> Blimey. <gasps> Me too. Yes. Yes, the relationship is politically motivated, and Gigachu is maneuvering for one of Queen Sidora's crowns. Uh... That's it? <laughs> People often have multiple motivations. Ugh. But these are kaiju, so it'd be foolish to assume and project complex human wants and needs. Hmm. On the one hand, I, I will agree with you, Major. We cannot put human emotions onto the kaiju. 
but to assume they cannot handle complex things is a little insulting. Oh. Oh. Eh. Regardless, once Queen Sidora realizes that the relationship is founded on false pretenses, their destructive dating will surely end. <laughs> we have already deployed diplomatic drones to disrupt the relationship. Ah. We better go live to the scene and see what happens. So many twists and turns this is taking. Mm -hmm. Could Gigachu be with someone who didn't share Gigachu's political beliefs? Yeah. I mean, that's only one part of a belief. Oh! If you're dating the queen, your politics best not miss. I forgot who I was talking to. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu keep up with current events? Unfortunately, yes. You just can't help it, it's the only thing people talk about these days. These two kaiju keep up with all of the ocean currents. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu multilingual? Yes, fantasy languages count, right? Gigachu is on Chu's way to being trilingual like Sidora. I'm growing two more heads. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's favorite animal? I'm gonna say octopus to get on her good side. Yeah, that worked. You say what they want to hear, and that's how every, and that's how a good relationship works. Both are amazed by the intelligence and talents of octopuses. Mm. Is Gigachu chasing Queen Sidora's crown? Huh. No, let's go. Eh. I mean, being royalty is definitely a plus, but it's not the only one. Gigachu is great. Gigachu is grateful to be graced with both romance and royalty. Oh man, this was a perfect triple. Just here to say hi guys, Wadi is so far pretty chill. Hey Pixel! Oh, that's good to hear. I mean, I remember with the dev, I saw the first six hours were definitely pretty chill. Oh man, I can't, I can't wait for tomorrow. Why can't that be me? See, I, which one pixel? Uh, the the Godzilla or the Ghidorah? Well, let's go to Egypt now. We've been hitting a lot of water. Let's hit the desert. Huh? Oh man, just just like twenty four more hours till till I play Wani. Can't wait. Sigachu Sigachu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> good choice. All right, have a good night, Pixel. Ah. In our effort to bring our viewers comp complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Oh, look, it's like a Sung Wukong guy. Hmm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Tefra has been dating the mystical monkey, Pyron. <laughs> what kind of hijinks are those, these two up to? Well... These fun-loving kaiju have been steaming things up at the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa. Oh. That's one hot couple. Huh. Will Gigachu and Queen Sidora be able to generate that kind of heat in their relationship? Oh! Let's see for ourselves as we go live to their latest date. Hmm. Does Gigachu dig deserts? Yeah, well, let's say no. No, we brought her here. We're kind of like, eh. <laughs> no, I hate deserts. Ah. That's why I brought you here. Queen Sidora isn't sold on the seafloor similarity. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into fitness? Yes. <laughs> Gotta be tough to smash all these structures down. <laughs> Both are avid swimmers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is Gigachu's favorite nas favorite holiday? Jellyfish Festival? National No SpongeBob Day. 
and high five day. What, what, is, what does this have with SpongeBob? Is this the game itself or is Sidora really testing us? Turns out SpongeBob is a, is a big kaiju hero. The Jellyfish Festival. We love jellyfishing. <laughs> Jellyfish Festival is a day for lovers. Hmm. What qualities would Gikachu wish to pass to future generations? Humor, a title, or a sense of justice? Well, we saw that's what Sidora likes. A sense of justice. Oh, all the generations shall be heroes. Maybe we'll make some sort of academia for that. They share a mutual love for maritime law and justice. Mm -hmm. Does Gikachu compose poetry? You know, time to time we dabble. We dabble. <laughs> Tingling toes touched by tide. Caress, caress skims across scales. Chills. No, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going on the poem complaints again. That I'm just saying that is not a poem. If your poem does not read as a poem written, no. Stop it. Ah, that one only went up by a little bit. And we've been getting, like, the kisses every time. Okay, I guess we gotta hit, uh... Let's hit a water place. Let's hit Sydney. Let's hit Australia. The um... land of love. The swelling tides of Sea Chu's passions have capsized any attempts to contain their affair. Oh! Major Pe Pejandrum joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to this unstoppable love affair. Hmm. We are exploring alternative methods of combating these amorous monsters, and we believe we have found a weakness to exploit. <laughs> Turns out, we could just shoot missiles at them. You know, I thought. You know, we've been melting around with all these romance politics. I forgot we're the military. <laughs> we expect that Gikachu will lose interest in Queen Sidora once Chu realizes the fate of their kingdom. Hmm. Do you mean the ocean? Ah. Uh. The military won't even need to lift a finger. Eight million metric tons of plastic are dumped into the ocean every year. Ah. Uh. For our viewers in the United States, Myanmar, and Burma, that's about 17.6 billion pounds. Wow, you really don't hear Myanmar and Burma mentioned too often. <sighs> That's incomprehensible. Why aren't they using the metric system? Huh? Are you more upset about their measuring system than the litter? Well, yes, I mean, why? the metric system is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a little concerned about both. I have to say that so I look good on TV. Uh. Do you, do you want to know any more about our plans to defeat the kaiju? Huh. I'd like to know what you're going to do about to clean up our oceans. Huh. Well, we have a secret weapon that we could repurpose once we've defeated Sikachu. Ah. Speaking of Sikachu, let's go live to see their date in progress. Hmm. Does size matter? Yes. I mean, we're not in Texas, but you go big or you go home. Ah. Size is somewhat important under the sea. <clears throat> what kind of conversationalist is Gigachu? Or somewhere in between. Ah. That's a good thing. I guess you gotta be a little bit of both for royalty. Queen Sidora can listen while talking and also singing. She has three heads. Mm -hmm. What does Gigachu prefer? Following a plan. Well, no. Let's, let's go with the flow. That's what I like to do. <laughs> you also think the sea creature would like that, too. Uh. The ocean flow. Queen Sidora sometimes likes to go with the flow, despite social restrictions. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu like literature? Yes, I'm... <laughs> We are quite in depth with novels, especially of visual nature. <laughs> Their passion for undersea literature brings up more questions than it answers. 
It's called lamination. Mm -hmm. Is Gikachu mathematical? Yes. For example, you plus me equals amazing. <laughs> I'm glad she, I'm glad Cedora liked that joke. Oh. Oh. A little, little lag spike there. Gikachu knows that three heads are better than one. Mm -hmm. Where does Gikachu want? To, where does Gikachu want to be in ten years? Just to be with Sedora. Oh. Ah. Queen Sedora would expect no less. It also expects more. Well, damn, ain't she picky? <laughs> We gotta be honest, we follow the heart. <gasps> what? Oh no! We have to be like on the ball with each one? Uh, let's go over to the Moai. Surely this will be a romantic oh. place, enough place. The stakes of dating are much higher now that the military is involved. Oh. The relationship is unlikely to progress if dates aren't great. Oh. Oh, how often relationships falter in the face of military might. Huh? Is that a common relationship problem? It is if you're me. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed it is. I dated a sailor. <laughs> uh, we had some rough seas from the outlet, so it was no surprise that when we started taking on water, both the ship and the relationship were swallowed by the sea. <laughs> You have the most unique war stories, Lucky. <laughs> you only lose in love when you stop fighting. Or when someone dies, like when he was brushed away into the sea. Oh! Sega Chu hasn't quit either. Let's go live to the scene. Oh, I sure wish my sailor was alive still. Hmm. What? Which height does Gikachu prefer for a partner? Taller. <laughs> Queen Sidora prefers to be eye to eye, to eye, to eye. See, because she has three heads. Mm. What are Gigachu's hobbies? Surfing. Totally surfing for real. Ah. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love this dented boy. They both love to ride the waves. Hmm. How does Gigachu relax? Totally surfing. Yes. They like to ride the waves away from their troubles. Come on, let, let there be a surfing for a third time. <laughs> does Gigachu think exes can be friends? Queen Sidora's experiences are largely diplomatic and amicable. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu artistic? Yes. We totally get into the arts. Maybe not as much as we'd like, but definitely yes. Sidora compliments Gigachu's institutionalist approach. Whatever that means, yes. What is that supposed to mean for art? Do you like art? Yes. Ah, I, I love your institutionalist approach. What, that feels like something that doesn't apply to art. Mm -hmm. I also don't know what that means. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? On top of the world. Let's be with it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Queen Sidora would prefer to be under the sea. It's a metaphor. It's not literal. Oh. Oh. The triple upturn. That stings. Quick. Go on about Sidley. We need we need to cool things down. Oh. <sighs> that's the second time. That's the second time Sega Chew has washed out. Oh. They may have lost the battle, but the war is far from over. Hmm. How will they recover from this loss? Well, 
If Gigachu could navigate the aquatic court and understand Queen Sidora's social obligation, they should be able to turn the tide. Ah. You only lose in love when you stop fighting, right? Yeah. Well said. And it looks like they're ready to give it another go right now. Oh, we're just destroying a mountain mm. now. How does Gigachu feel about wood? Eh? Ah. They are debating benefits of wood's buoyancy. Mm. Does Gigachu care for concrete? No. Ah, good, good. The two shared the experience of stepping on Dolosi. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's probably a building material. What social cause is most important to Gigachu? Disenfranchisement or pollution? That's a good cause. Did you know there's like 8 billion tons of plastic in the ocean? Pollution is one of Queen Sidora's top priorities. Mm -hmm. it, in the sense of, we like to make a lot of pollution. Is Gigachu popular? Yeah, I mean, the news is just all over us right now. Ah. Queen Sidora endeavors to understand and serve their subjects. Mm -hmm. Surf Ambassador, that's the only one we haven't done. I should have taken that after I answered surfing twice, I'm now realizing. That would be an optimal position for pursuing politics and catching waves. Ah, yes, finally. It took three tries, one for each head. Act 3, Love Deeper Than the Ocean. Oh my. Challenge. Gigachu must be a zealous lover for whom Queen Sidora would forfeit their throne, yet a savvy enough suitor to circumvent such a sacrifice. Interesting. Okay. So we have to be so irresistible that she would give up everything. But we have to be able to be like, nah, don't worry, babe, we got this. So we gotta learn from some of the best leaders for this. We're going to Rushmore. Oh! Major P Pajandrum is back with a special announcement. <laughs> oh, our efforts are finally come to fruition. The kaiju dating season is at an end. Oh, so you're saying they're married now? Mm hmm How can you be so confident? Yeah. Especially in light of all the prior failures. Well, the military's ultimate relationship eradication robot, Mechachu, has been deployed. <gasps> no, you're just going to start a three-way. <laughs> Mechachu's advanced systems are specifically designed to el evaluate the relationship and exploit their weaknesses. Uh. Mechachu will make Gigachu realize that a caring and considerate suitor would not expect a noble queen to court a mere common kaiju. Uh. Queen Sidora was already wrestling with keeping their career and relationship. <sighs> Is this the end of love? Let's go live to the climatic confrontation. Oh! Achievement Cyberbully. First encounter with Mekachu. So, you think your love is pretty good, huh? Yeah, I think it's pretty amazing. Yo, oh, what the fuck? You're not supposed to agree with that. Their love is the biggest around. <laughs> Where was Sigachu's first date? The Tokyo Tower. <laughs> it was on Earth. Technically, I'm true. I'm right. Ah, oh, god damn it! Maybe we should have waited more than two days for this. Kikachu remembers the date like it was yesterday, because it happened yesterday. <laughs> Does Gigachu know Queen Sidora's most formulative experience? Becoming the queen. <laughs> it's right there in the name. <laughs> what is Gigachu's sign? 
Oh, what is my sign? I mean... Oh, wait. I don't know if this would apply to anything. Wait, all three of these are ocean-related. Aquarius, Pisces, and Cancer. I'll just go with mine. I'm a Cancer. Haha. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Queen Sidora doesn't care about sky crabs. <laughs> Does Giga Chu recognize Queen Sidora's greatest weakness? Cast system dehydration. Grass types. Uh... I feel like the cast system. Ah. <laughs> Queen Sidora knows that they are entrenched in an antiquated system. Will Gigachu disgrace Queen Sidora by continuing this relationship? Um Yes. Fuck you, it's not disgracing. Who are you who are you to say, giant robot? I mean, you're called Mecha Chew, but you don't even look like me. I mean, come on, you're even ruining the naming thing. Ah, oh, no! Oh. Queen Sidora is concerned by Giga Chew's cavalier attitude about the impact of their relationship. Yeah, I feel like this is a lying thing because it's what she likes to be committed. She likes commitment. Does Giga Chu recognize that Chu isn't compatible with Queen Sidora? No, I'm saying neutral. Oh. Queen Sidora has cop has apprehensions about their alliance. Has Giga Chu been bested by a robotic rival before? No. What? I haven't been bested. What? What's with these dastardly loaded questions? Okay, come on. I li it's my first time I play this game. Literally have not even been bested by a robot before. No! Ugh. Romance is dead. Overcome by cold, uncaring algorithms and a giant robot. Oh. Their love seems so powerful. <sighs> the military machine was stronger. We feared they would flood the world with romance, but it ended as a drizzle. Hmm. Sometimes you can make all the right choices and still fail. <sighs> That's very true, Lucky. But sometimes there are no right choices. Oh. If Kaiju can't overcome societal constraints and war warring states, what hope do the rest of us have? Mm -hmm. That's a convoluted and impossibly high bar for love, Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> but brevity, that's exactly what these Kaiju must do for love. If love is a battlefield, oh, which it is, mm. then you only truly lose the war when you stop fighting. Yeah, that means it's still up to Gikachu <laughs> and Queen Sidora <laughs> and viewers like you. Thank you. Oh, what? Sigachu's oh. so aquatic alliance has secured control of seas and a place in our hearts. If their alliance dissolves, how could any of us rely on love again? Huh? It looks like Gigachu is going to get relationship advice. Oh! We're counting on you, Gigachu. Oh, she's just gone. Oh, okay. We get to ask somebody else for advice. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Are you gonna go for the volcano? No. I feel like that's a bad idea. Let's go for the mushroom. Yeah, I like her. Ah. Social, social constructs of undersea society may seem nonsensical to, to Mega Megagrius, but they understand the importance of shared meaning and values. Hmm. Avoid inventing obstacles and focus on over, overcoming solvable problems. Hmm. Cherish one another's influence to keep the alliance healthy and on course. <laughs> Gigachu is a veteran navigator of love. Oh, we get to talk to everyone. Okay. Ah. Tefra digs Gigachu at Queen Sidora's devotion. Mm. Their relationship is founded on common ground and commitment. Mm. Their passions may not rise and fall like the tides, 
but they share a subtle flow that fulfills each other's needs. <laughs> the current of their love runs deep. Uh. Masra appreciates the struggle of, to balance social obligations and personal needs. Mm. The circumstances for the romance might not be the most conductive to growth. Mm. But love will grow if they are willing and committed to work, to the work and each other. Oh! The jer the juice is worth sque worth the squeeze for Gigachu. Uh. A political union isn't Terpio's to cup of tea, but Z appreciates the uniquely shared interests and goals of Gigachu and Sweet Queen Sedora's alliance. Mm. The relationship is elevated by clearly established expectations, boundaries, and desires. Mm. Supporting each other's pursuit of separate interests is healthy. Aww. Their hearts will swell to see each other succeed. So it was, I'm guessing, maybe it was a scripted loss for, I guess, uh, Mecha Chu then? Ah. Uh. Garudan, is, Garudan isn't particularly political, but he is a team player. Mm. It's perfectly healthy to have one's own individual goals. Mm. Supporting your partner's gains can be even more rewarding than merely making yourself small. Yeah. I suppose some kaiju would rather be spotters than in the spotlight. Huh? Gigachu charted a course for love, but Queen Sidora seemed lost at sea. Alright. Alright, you home wrecker, I'm taking you out again. Fight for love! <sighs> Our ongoing cover oh our ongoing coverage of Kaiju courtship must finally come to a close. Oh. The relationship has run aground, and little is left to report. God, he looks so depressed over this. Oh. It's not like you to give up on love, Lucky. I had a breakup when we started this broadcast two days ago. Well I'm not the one giving up. Yes. But Gigachu isn't either. Chu is headed to Antarctica. Oh. What's there? Is it Queen Sidora? Is it hope? Is it the thing? That would be a fun uh, coverage. Kaiju and a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is the end. <gasps> Major Penjandrum? Uh. Why are you here? <clears throat> we knew that the relationship was too strong for a single defeat, so we've prepared a finishing blow. A missile. What? What are you planning? Uh. Mechachu will once again confront them with the weaknesses of their relationship. And Queen Sidora will have no choice but to accept the superior suitor. <laughs> Who would that be? Hmm. Our experts surmise that Queen Sidora was surely settling for a common kaiju in Gigachu. Hmm. Are you suggesting that Queen Sidora would rather date Ga- No. No. The King of the Monsters is definitely not their type. Mekachu is the perfect match. Uh. S since when is Mekachu royalty? Aren't you being a little biased now? <laughs> <laughs> since yesterday. Uh. Mechachu's operating system was upgraded with the latest er, aristocratic algorithms. We installed a cutting-edge crown, and Mechachu was granted a title of Duke by the Mustache King himself. Uh. Oh, but as long as love doesn't supersede adherence to archaic social construct, I guess this won't be the end of Sigachu. Oh! Let's go live to see if love survives this climactic confrontation. <laughs> hey, where's his crown? Are you back for more? Yes. I like the major just assuming uh, Sidora is going to fall for the robot instead of just leaving entirely. Sigachu's back for love. Where was Sigachu's first kiss? On the lips. Uh, Golden Gate Bridge. I remember things. That kiss was unforgettable. What are Queen Sidora's love languages? Service and giving. <laughs> Their love is so eloquent. What is Gigachu's worst habit? Uh, talking. <laughs> it's why I've been doing this whole time, talking to myself. See, they love it. 
Queen Sidora can't relate. <laughs> Will Gigachu disgrace Queen Sidora by continuing this relationship? Uh. Oh, I, I think I misread it the last time. I was reading, co you know, continue relationship. No, I'll continue it and it won't disgrace her. Kikachu respects Queen Sidora's judgment on the matter of their romantic pursuits. How is Gigachu suited for Queen Sidora? Zest for life. Yeah! We love love. Gigachu is a breath of fresh air for Queen Sidora's life. Oh, look at this pose. Gikachu wishes to express what Chu loves the most about Queen Sidora. The sense of justice. <gasps> oh, I just love the cool pose Sidora is in, too. Yeah. Gikachu shares Queen Sidora's deep sense of justice and order. <laughs> Aww. Love conquers all! Neither social nor mechanical constructs could contain Gigachu and Queen Sidora's alliance of love. Oh! Is, Gig is Gigachu's lack of a title no longer an issue? Well... Gigachu's victory over Duke Mechachu proves that a title is meaningless in matters of the heart. <laughs> Queen Sidora will continue to oversee the seas with Gigachu by their side. Uh... Can Gigachu breathe underwater? Or is Chu simply sustained by love? Hmm... There's still much we don't know about Gigachu. Yeah. Yeah, like if Chu eats or poops. Oh. Why, why do we keep going to that, Lucky? I don't know. Or what would happen if Gigachu had chosen to date another kaiju? Well... I suppose someone would have to play again to find out. Bye bye See you next time. Achievement! Royal Romance. Gigachu and Sidora. That's nice. That's sweet. That was a fun little game. A game by Squittershins. Wow, also not too many people worked on this. Good job for these people. Oh, that only took an hour. I'll give, well, let's give, I'll give another run at this. Uh, date one more of the kaiju and then uh, move on to another thing. Just like the credits run through. You know, you always gotta appreciate the credits. It's like whenever I go to a movie at the theaters, always sit through the credits, always wait through it. It's also really surprising. I mean, this is just a thing I know it's mostly because most of the movies I watched recently, you know, have been like event related movies. So there's like a little bonus clip at the end after the credits. It's funny how when the movie mentions there's something after the credits, the second the credits start rolling, like half this half or almost everybody just gets up and leaves it's like there it said there's more after the credits why are you leaving you're you're missing out on something you paid for guess either people are too busy or people can't read all right anyways oh, oh i i see now i see there's six kaiju and six save files. Ah ha ha. Chew. Hello. World breaking news. I am Brevity Orbs, and this is my co host, Lucky Cole, with world breaking news. Ah, <gasps> oh, I broke up again. It feels like I'm stuck in a rut. Feels like I'm stuck in a rut. Just the same thing oh. over and over. Aw, oh, Lucky, I'm so sorry to hear that. Is that a midlife crisis? Huh. Also, also, you know, some giant thing is up 
up in the north. Maybe it'll put me out of my misery and just let me move on to a better mm. life. Uh, I don't think the kaiju go after people specifically. Yeah. You never, you never know, brevity. It could happen. Today could be the day. Ah. Oh. <sighs> uh. Anyway, let let's get to mm. this. Well. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Uh, we got bird. Let's go for Sedora again. Bird got armadillo, scorpion, volcano. I want to go for the moth. I want to go for the bug. Oh! A massive mossy moth man mystically manifested from the mists of Carmana Walbrin Provincial Park. Mm. The locals call this monster Mosra, after the legendary plant protector that would defend Vancouver and all of Canada in a time of crisis. Aw, oh, dang, I thought this was an American kaiju, not Canadian. What? I gotta start over now. Oh. Kaiju may have met Chu's match in Mosra. All right, forgot we have to pick it. Well, I guess let's stick to the native. Well, no, all the all the monuments are American. Aha, take that, Canada. Let's go to the Space Needle. Oh. Basra and Gigachu get up and close and personal at the Space Needle. Hmm. What has driven the Kaiju to bully our beloved Space Needle? Again, aside from the shape being good for some axe. Well. There is a language of love in the leveling of landmarks, Lucky. What? What you talk yes. about, Brevity? Indeed, Mosra is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I'll narrate. Ah, achievement, mm. loving commute. Gigachu visited 12 locations. Does Gigachu come here often? Yes. Or well, you came here for a reason. Ah. Mosra is glad that they share a familiar place. Mm. How is Gigachu feeling? Confident. I like the the questions are being a little uh. different. Masra is reserved but encouraged. Mm. Is this Gigachu's first time dating a plant? Yes. Uh. Masra likes that Gigachu is branching out. Get it? Plant? Mm. Buster wants to know what at first attracted Gigachu to her. Uh... That was a plant. Plant moth smell good. Ah. Basra is a bit bashful about her pollen. Mm. Does Gigachu like the space needle? No, I hate it. That's what brought you here. Oh, <laughs> The synchronized strikes reverberate a natural connection. Mm. Is Gigachu kiss on the first date? Now let's go neutralize. I'm feeling this this moth is feeling a little more reserved. <laughs> or not? Ah. Gigachu's moderation is alluring to Mosra. <laughs> oh, look at that cute moth face. I was like. I almost like the neutral uh, endings more than the good ones. Okay, Masara, she, her, family focused Mossy Mama. Okay, what are other good places for moths? Uh, yeah, let's do Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh. <laughs> I would not have predicted a trust between kaiju to be so underwhelming. Well... We should expect him to be compatible in every area. I mean, one's a giant lizard and the other one's a... medium giant-sized moth. <laughs> but at least a, a dozen dates are more destructive than what we witnessed. Again, Lucky, <laughs> I don't think you should be saying that on air. They just need time to grow and get to know each other. Hmm. I guess we're still getting to know Gigachu ourselves for the second time. Ah. Some experts are speculating that Gikachu is a manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. Or maybe I'm projecting mm -hmm. a little bit on a little bit onto this monster. Nah. <laughs> Disconnected? My phone is like a digital umbilical cord. Mother has already called and texted me twice during this segment. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll get your groceries once we finish broadcasting. Oh. 
Oh, it looks like Pikachu is trying to connect right now at Mount Kilimanjaro. Mm -hmm. Is Pikachu multilingual? No. Neutral. Again, we're just destroying them out. They both feel learning is a few new phrases sounds fun. What is Gigachu's favorite color? Earthy toads. Both favor earth toads. Does Gigachu like literature? Yes. <laughs> this one I know already. Or I guess technically it's a new creature, but we're speaking of ourselves. I know what I am. Both love leveling libraries. Also, moths love to eat books. Mm. Does Gigachu kiss on the second date? Neutral. Aha! I figured this moth would like to take it slow. Ah. Chu seems to be making an exception for Mothra. Oh, <laughs> Eat the moth. You will eat the bug. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go for all of the big mountain places. Let's go for Chichen Itza. I don't think I've done this one yet. I guess, yeah, just go for everyone I didn't hey. do last time. Brevity. Do you know the number one question our viewers' minds? Do not say anything bathroom related. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brevity, you had wow. one job. Okay. How are you in two with the connect intentions of these well. kaiju? I you you don't understand them? I mean it's really easy to learn. What? Wow, way to insult all of us, uh -uh. Brevity. I'm just saying it how it hmm. is. Okay. What's your impression of Monster then? Say how that is. Ah. She she seeks a similarly nurturing parental partner. Ah. Uh. Will incompatible answers come off as incompetent? Hmm, perhaps, but they might more than likely will become out impotent. <laughs> Commitment seems more important than competence to Masra. Uh. With time and dedication, their compatibility should naturally grow where it matters most. Oh! Let's see your insight in, in action and learn more at Chichitsa, Chichen Itza now. Is Gikachu ready to settle down in one place? Yeah. I'm, come on, I'm walking around the planet destroying stuff is tiring. Gikachu ain't mind moving to Vancouver. Mm. What are Gikachu's hobbies? Gardening. We love to lay seed, if you know what. Masra is enticed by Gigachu's gardening techniques. Mm. And plowing those fields. Could Gigachu be with someone who doesn't share Chu's political beliefs? Yeah, I'll go with... Neutral. Neutral is fine. <laughs> Don't be extremist on anything political. Either one has a strong political preference. Kaiju have more important things to worry about. Mm. Is Gigachu a naturalist? Well, we aren't wearing anything. Ah. Masra is a national park personified. Literally, she she's a whole national park that just lifted up out of the ground and came alive, like Shadow of the Classes or something. Okay, where else have- ooh, let's go for the hand. Bugs like hands, right? Mano del desertio. Desierto. Wait, is this a real monument? A real oh. natural spot? Just a giant stone hand? How have I never heard of this one before? Hey, Brevity, I think I'm getting a hand of this kaiju heart stuff. Aw, what does the heart tell you? Oh. I sense that that was a great date. <laughs> Was it the kiss? <laughs> it was the kiss. Hmm. Brevity, do Kaiju like the landmarks they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. 
Uh, what about the landmarks they dislike? Well, uh, not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Tell that to my landscaper. Oh. The unstoppable couple, Mossy Chu, just landed at Mano del Desierto. Let's go live to the scene. Go for the Antarctic Pyramid next. You got it, Ooh. Frankie boy. How does Gigachu feel about mountains? Also, hey, Frankie, how you doing? I love that. Ah. Monster doesn't hike or climb, and is mostly ambivalent about mountains. You could fly up them. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu find it difficult to compromise? Eh, neutral. <laughs> A very neutral ah. date so far. Mastra is more flexible. Doing good? That's good. Mm -hmm. Has Gigachu been more affected by positive than negative? Yes. <laughs> this poor hand. Nature has been nurturing to both of them. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu like rock? I brought you to a sta I did bring you to a rock statue. <laughs> Some odd questions when they pop up. Do you like thing that you are at right now? That was a rock solid reply. Of course, then again, this hand was doing paper. Mm. What does Gigachu prefer for a partner? Same age. You know, you gotta have relatively the same experience, roughly. How old is Gigachu, anyhow? Don't ask questions, Lucky. Mm. Mosra wants to know what, attract, what most attracts Gigachu to her. Compassion. Ah. Mosra's compassion is Gigachu's primary attraction. <laughs> yeah. What a great... Act 2, plant-based love. Much better than a plant-based burger. Okay, Mosra likes nature, gardening, family, and simplicity. She dislikes fire, woodworking, trivia, and solitude. Oh no, she wouldn't like Jeopardy. Of course, then again, Jeopardy is also just kind of an odd thing to watch. When some of the categories are just crazy oh. random trivia. We have a special interview with Major Panjandra. Ah, uh, thank you for having me on again. Hey. Good evening, sir. Hmm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? <laughs> we will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. You didn't answer the question. Okay, fine, doggy style. How can you stop the big? How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Hmm. We wouldn't want this information getting into the hands of the enemy. Huh? I don't think the kaiju understand English too well. Yeah. I don't think the kaiju watch our programming either. None of. Kai. Uh, Gigachu still hasn't killed me yet to put me out of the misery of my breakup. Eh. Okay, I suppose it'd be alright to declassify a little since the military. Might will always overcome love. <laughs> the electrified and concrete fortified ramparts erected by our engineers will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh. You you do realize one of them can fly, right? No, we, we did not know that. <laughs> Mossy Chu is planting the seeds of love over at Mount Sidley. Mm? What? I must go. Mm. And we must go live to the scene. Ah, uh, the Arctic. The perfect place for a, a plant bug. And neutral domes. Ah. Masara might be too thick for a Gigachu. Whoa. Okay, so last time I made the dome joke, and now this time that's what it was going for. Mm -hmm. What describes Gigachu socially? Neither. We're just neutral. 
we don't confine ourselves by labels. Foster our rewire requires conversation and moderation. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu most proud of? Family. It's all about family. Thank you, Bindi. Basra is also most proud of her family. All 7,000 of them. Which does Gigachu go for? Clement temperature. Because we like oranges. <laughs> That's stupid. That's terrible. Joke. Temperate is optimal for both of them. <laughs> is this relationship worth fighting for? Yes, always. <laughs> Lasting love won't wilt so easily. <laughs> it's always just a silly answer to have that. Do you want to keep trying? Yes. Okay. Uh, I did the Tantro. I did everything in America. I did the Nook. China. We haven't gone to China yet. They uh. love bugs over there, right? As our Kaiju's couple relationship grows deeper, so too shall our reporting. <laughs> Go, Gigachu! Make the people happy! Destroy Wall Street! Oh! Are we finally moving to that deep dive on Gigachu? Does Chu have a dark secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Well... Gigachu appears to wear Chu's heart on Chu's sleeve. Huh. Chu has the heart motif down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they also trademarked it. Uh, oh... Can, can Kaiju do that? Yes! Everybody owes them $10,000 each. We'll be focusing on the mild-mannered maiden of Moss known as Mosra. Uh... Are the tales true of Mosra being the champion of Vancouver? Huh? In so far much as she is fond of where she lives, I suppose. Huh. What made Mosra venture, venture forth from her hidden habitat? <laughs> Mosra seems to be in the search of a stable mate with whom to build a home. Oh. Must Gigachu give up globetrotting to become a guardian for this relationship to fully flourish? Mm. Gigachu obstinately only travels for love, and Chu's destination might just be Mosra. Oh. Is there any reason Gigachu might change course? Hmm. Possibly if Gigachu doesn't share Mos Mosra's passion for parenting. Hmm. Surely Mosra has more motivations than mere maternal instinct. Ah. She enjoys nature as well as nurturing. God, all this alliteration is tying my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she loves to smash too. And she also likes destroying buildings. Let's go live to their latest date. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu like animals? Yes. Basra's <laughs> home turf hosts a menagerie of animals. Mm -hmm. What type of music does Gigachu like? Okay, if, if Basra is a family, we're going for the folk. <laughs> They enjoy the green grass grew all around. Hey yo, is she a single mother? Yes, she is the she is the mothest mother. <laughs> is Gigachu afraid of heights? No. See this time it worked because she's fine. Hey Kaiju, destroy my wall. Both are ready to take the relationship to great heights. Oh, that was more of like a southern redneck than the Chinese guy off South Park uh, accent. <laughs> what was Gigachu's most formative experience? Uh, extinction event. Yeah. Oh, the wall is breached. The Mongolians can get in now. For Basra, it is becoming a, mo a mother. She went from moth to mother. update. Mosra, seeking a kind-hearted parental partner. 
love languages, time and touch, virtue, compassion, empathy and kindness, Greek love style, storage, unconditional affection. Aww. Uh, okay. Taj Mahal, we haven't been there. Mossy Chu continues their powerful pursuit of love. Aww. Their relationship has grown so strong. <laughs> Not strong enough. Hello. Ah, oh, welcome back, Mayor. Ah, uh, a new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. What am I gonna do tomorrow then? I only plan my I plan my life around these broadcasts. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Well, oh, as I was saying, the relationship is not as strong as you think. Hmm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Ah. Our satellites have captured Gikachu in a compromising position. <gasps> Golly. <gasps> Gosh. Yes. Gee whiz. Yes, Gikachu was photographed frolicking through the forest with several seductive sequoias. Uh. Like a hike? Hmm? Or a nature walk? Eh, call it what you will. But when Masura learns of Gikachu's behavior, the relationship will be uprooted. <laughs> we have already sent drones to expose Gikachu's salish, salacious acts. Oh. Oh, well we learned a lot about the mayor and what he thinks about trees. Let's go live to the sea and see what happens. Or major, not mayor. Hmm. Does Gikachu dream? Again, such a weird question. <laughs> I feel like that's a great question to throw people off, though, actually. I think about it. Just walk up to somebody. Hey, do you dream? Do you capital D dream? Gikachu sleeps like a log. A dreamy log. Mm -hmm. What is Gikachu's diet like? A morivore. <laughs> a little romance is all Gikachu needs for sustenance. Is Gikachu into piercings? No. They hurt. Also, there's none big enough for Kaiju. God, could you imagine how big a Kaiju piercing would be? Like... You'd basically have to get like a Ferris wheel to make like a decent sized earring, I would imagine, or something. This, now I'm just, is it, why is it no one does it just like the kaiju just like go to like a like just stampede through like a carnival or something and one just picks up like the ferris wheel and just hooks it on the other's ear it's like oh thank you it's so perfect both prefer to be au naturel mm -hmm. was gigachu cavorting with sequoias yeah. let's say neutral wait She likes gardening. Ye what? Wait. Say yes. Yeah, because she's a plant. She would love nature. Gigachu is an avid hiker, which is how Chu met Mosra. <laughs> Were you cavorting with sequoias? If that's what you call gardening, yes. Aw, oh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, we're almost nailing every spot. Uh, let's see. Let's go. I mean, the only places I haven't done are Burge, Power Station, and this one. Let's, let's do Bab. Let's go for Bab and then work our way back to Asia. Huh. Mossy Chu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Ah. In our efforts to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Hmm. <gasps> See, Dora, how could you betray me? Who do we have here? <laughs> Queen Sidora is, curr is currently being courted by this chimeric cutie, Kimetria. Dang, why can't, why can't the chimera be an option for us in a room? Hmm. Kometria is actually one-third princess, prince, and an avid windsurfer. Aww. 
double royalty, and a shared interest in water sports is a wonderful match. Lucky, you may want to choose a different phrase for that. Yes. This triple couple recently traveled to the Palace of Versailles for a luxurious rendezvous. Huh. I wonder if Gigachu and Mosra will be going somewhere as glamorous. Oh. Let's go live to their latest date. Hmm. Is Gigachu into fitness? Yeah, bro, we swole, we lift. <laughs> Do plants exercise? They photosynthesize. <laughs> who's, Gigachu, who's Gigachu's natural hero? Gubbins, Haruo Naka, Nakajima, or Vin Diesel? Okay, I have to look up who Haruo is. That feels like a familiar name somehow. Where's my Google? Haruo. Actor and stuntman? For what? Oh! He is best known for playing Godzilla in 12 consecutive films, starting from the original Godzilla until Godzilla vs. Gigan. Or Gigan. I learned something today. But we're going Vin Diesel. Because it's all about family. <laughs> Both know that nothing's stronger than family. <laughs> Is Gigachu a fan of forests? That the the plant monster asks. You gotta love a softball answer. <laughs> Gigachu is essentially a dating one, so Chu better be. Mm. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Yes. Man, I, I've just gotten along so much better with this moth than the seahorse. Planting a kiss, taking a chance. Botanical bliss, kissing a plant. Okay, this one's this one's a better poem. I, I also I like the swap of lines one and four. That one was clever. I'll give I'll give that to you, game writer. You redeemed yourself. Okay, let's hit the power station. We gotta charge up. Ah. Despite military might, Mossy Chu's love continues to bloom. Oh. Major Panjandrum Penjandrum joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to this unstoppable love affair. Hmm. We are exploring alternative methods of combating these amorous monsters, and we believe we have found a weakness to exploit. <laughs> we discovered a terrible secret that monster has hidden deep within her forest home. <gasps> not come not Carmana Walbrand Provincial Park. Ah. Numerous monstrous eggs were shrouded among the mists. Mosra has offspring. Bro, MILF status? Uh didn't we cover that? Well, once Gigachu discovers that Mosra is a single mother, the relationship will be finished. Hmm. Will it though? Gigachu seems to be cool with kids. <laughs> it's an extremely unlikely event that Gigachu actually likes children. We have a secret weapon currently under construction. Ah. Major, thank you for the glimpse of the f of what the future may hold. For the present, let's go live to their date in progress. <laughs> hmm. Tells Gigachu, uh, Mosra is actually a milf. Oh no, we've only made it stronger. What does Gigachu attribute to success? Hard work and luck. <laughs> Both believe it's a balance between nature and nurture. Mm. What is Gigachu's take on walls? No. We like the open outdoors. Oh no! Oh. My first bad answer! Gigachu doesn't get what Mothra sees in walls. Mm -hmm. What does Gigachu prefer? Go with the flow. Ah. Mothra can be accommodating, but would rather have notice. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu fashionable? 
Neutral? Yeah, there we go. Pikachu performs some basic pruning. Hmm. What social cause is important to Pikachu? Uh, again, it feels like an obvious question. Osra is in favor of protecting her home. Hmm. What does Pikachu want to be in 10 years? Married with children. More eggs must be made. They continue to grow in the same direction. Damn, salvage that after that start. I just got Wani's ending three, and I'm now trying to figure out what order to do the other endings in to limit the emotional damage to my soul. Well, adept guy. Now, this is just how I did it with Snoop Game. But honest, I mean, outside of one, two, going in order of one, two, three, four, I would say save four for last. That seems to be the best opinion, you know, the end on the best note. Wani, yeah, Frankie, Wani came out today. Or, well, if you're on the East Coast, technically yesterday. Yeah, it, it's out. You can hug that gator right now. All right. Challenge. Masra doesn't desire an unparalleled parental paragon. She simply seeks a compassionate partner to share her struggles and joys. Gigachu might just prove to be both. An unparalleled parental paragon. What does that mean? Oh, like, the ultimate dad? Surprised you aren't playing that. Oh, I'm playing, we're gonna, I'm gonna be playing Wani tomorrow on Thursdays because I'll be playing it uh, with Shima, Hinkle, and Scruffy, you know, the usual group uh, that we've done Snoop game and that we're doing Mario RPG and various other streams. Just no life it straight from release and I'm a fast reader too. It's very lengthy. Ah, oh, I love that. I love the sound of that. I also, just as a funny note, when I, fa when I found out Snoop Game existed the first time, I mean, first, aside from being, I didn't think Good, good, good by Volcano High was out yet, and I found out it was Snoop Game. Uh, I just, I played that entire game. Of course, this was a patch three, so it didn't have the bonus chapters. But I just had all the way through all four endings. Took me 18 hours. I have yet to upload that full playthrough. I got like the first chunk of it out. I, I have so many videos. So many VODs I need to upload. I think I got like two months straight if I uploaded one every day. Two months. Or at least a month and a half. No D and D chapters. Oh yeah, that's gotta be a deal breaker. If I if I don't see the Gator gaming, if I don't have a gaming Gator, what what's even the point? Okay, I think Burge is the last place we. No, wait. I don't think I ever went to Big Ben. Yeah, we gotta go to Big Ben. Oh, Major Pajantrov is back with a special announcement. <laughs> Oh man, if Wani is very lengthy, and with how we can get sidetracked on the streams with when I'm with the group with with, with my friends, oh man, we're gonna be playing this until like September, <laughs> streaming that game. Oh boy, our efforts have finally come to fruition. The kaiju dating season is at an end. We you found bug spray. Mm -hmm. How can you be so confident? Yeah, especially in light of all the prior failures. We are the military. We're supposed to be confident no matter what. Well. Especially with the failures. The military's ultimate relationship eradication robot, Mechachu, has been deployed. <laughs> Mechachu's advanced systems are specifically designed to evaluate the relationship and exploit their weaknesses. Ah. Uh. Mechachu will reveal to Gigachu the overwhelming responsibility of being a parent, not just a lover. Ugh. 
Masra is already balancing the needs of her offspring with her own relationship. <sighs> is this the end of love? <gasps> let's go live to the climactic confrontation. Alright, let's see if we can get this first try. <laughs> oh yeah, we're totally at Big Ben. It's raining. So you think your love, so you think your love's pretty good, huh? Yeah! I think my love is the best. Do you see all these hearts? Their love is the biggest around. Where was Mossy Chu's first date? Uh, the Space Needle. <laughs> I forgot. Gigachu remembers the date like it was yesterday. Because it happened yesterday. Does Gigachu know Mothra's most formative experience? Motherhood. Yeah, we already know that, so why was the major thinking uh, we didn't know that? Mothra is big on being a mom. What is Gigachu's sign? Um... Virgo? Wait, Aquarius was in the last one. Okay, so it's not like a common answer for all of them. Bossar wants a reliable relationship, not one swayed by the star. That is a that is a getcha answer. That's always gonna fail then. Does Gigachu real recognize Monster's greatest weakness? Chocolate. Fire types. Gigachu might be thinking of another game. <gasps> Intelligence, because she doesn't like trivia. <laughs> Will Gigachu accept that Masra loves her children more than Gigachu? Uh. Hmm. Neutral? Because oh, my logic here is accepting... Yeah, I totally accept that. It would be like, whoa, you're admitting that she can't be capable of loving both equally. But, you know, if you love family, you love everybody equally, so be neutral. Because I'm not going to say I don't accept it, because that just makes me seem like a dick. So we're going to be neutral. Oh. Both are struggling with uncertainty. Does Gigachu recognize that Chu isn't compatible with Mothra? No. I don't recognize that. Oh. Mothra wonders if she is right for Gigachu. <laughs> yeah, it happened last game. Okay, so I think the first what? battle is always guaranteed to make you fail. What's with these dastardly loaded questions? <clears throat> See, I don't know, a, a scripted fight feels, oh. you know, sometimes it makes sense, but in cases like this, it feels like, come on. Romance is dead, overcome by a cold, uncaring algorithms and a giant robot. Oh. Their love seemed unstoppable. <sighs> the military machine was stronger. Uh. The largest love story ever told concludes anticlimactically. Hmm. Sometimes you can make all the right choices and still fail. Hmm. That's very true, Lucky. But sometimes there are no right choices. Oh. If a mossy, matronly moth couldn't make a family with Romantosaurus, what hope do the rest of us have? Mm -hmm. Being a giant robot in combat is a pretty high bar for love, Lucky. Yeah. But brevity, beating a giant robot is exactly what these kaiju must do for love. Hmm. If love is a battlefield, oh. which it is, mm. then you only truly lose the war when you stop fighting. Yeah. That means it's still up to Gigachu. <laughs> and Basra. <laughs> and viewers like you. Make sure to donate to the Patreon. If you want to see these kaiju get together, donate $5 to the Patreon right now. Oh. I had thought that Mossy Chu's relationship had grown unstoppable. <gasps> Will love be left to wither and die? Huh? It looks like Gigachu is going to get relationship advice. Oh! We're counting on you, Gigachu. I choose you. 
Okay, let's talk with Plant first. Uh. Megarikus admires Gigachu and Monster's empathy and understanding. Mm. Remember that their relationship is rooted in shared values. Mm. Do not begrudge each other's baggage. Sell companionship and kindness. Yeah. And reap the fruits of affection. Tefra respects Gigachu and Mothra's commitment to family. Mm. They cannot allow a harsh environment to destabilize their relationship. Mm. Reliability is fundamental for enduring affection, and a solid foundation will allow their love to flourish. Aww. Sustainable growth is so beautiful. Terpio is touched by Gigachu and Mothra's empathy and kindness. Mm. If both are committed to growth, they should not dwell on shortcomings. Mm. Cherish the opportunity to nurture one another and find joy in each other's development. Oh! Those are excellent techniques for cultivating love. We'll go for Sidora's advice last. Ah. Garudan gets that the true strength of Gikachu and Monster's relationship is in its co commitment. Mm. Lasting growth will naturally be achieved through consistency and time. It doesn't matter whose love is stronger, as long as you're growing together. <laughs> Garudan has a great relationship routine. Ah. Queen Sidora is impressed by Gigachu and Mothra's mutual devotion. Mm. Problems that otherwise seem insurmountable are often overcome with teamwork. Mm. Their, value their effort is evidence of their commitment and will grow their love even in failure or defeat. <laughs> but all the better in victory. Huh? Gigachu harvested advice, but where has Mothra gone? No, not to Antarctica. She went to put herself out of her misery in a deep freeze. Alright, buddy, time for round two. Okay, love language is time and touch. Compassion, empathy, kindness, virtue, and uncondition. I need to remember those, because those will probably come up. <sighs> Our ongoing coverage of Kaiju courtship must finally come to a close. Ugh. The relationship has withered away, and little is left to report. Aww. It's not like you to give up on love, Lucky. Well... I'm not the one giving up. Society has given up. Yes. But Gigachu isn't, and Chu is heading to Antarctica. <sighs> Probably numb to, to numb the pain of a broken heart. Maybe I should have gone to Antarctica. Found a penguin. Hmm... I'm not so sure, Lucky. There appears to be something there. Oh! What's there? Is it Mosra? Is it Hope? <laughs> it is the end. <gasps> Major Pajandrum? Uh... Why are you here? Huh. We knew that the relationship was too strong for a single defeat, so we prepared a finishing blow. What? What are you planning? Uh... We have airlifted Mosra's eggs to our secret Antarctic base. <gasps> Why would you do that? That's in the Arctic! You know eggs don't do well there. Well... You put eggs in a refrigerator, this is the same thing, right? <laughs> Mekachu will confront the couple once more with the weaknesses of their relationship. And with Mothra's eggs held hostage, she'll be forced to choose her offspring over her lover. Also as a backup plan, we gave Mekachu all the function functioning organs to make new eggs. All of them. Hmm... In the improbable event that Mothra chooses her lover over her offspring, is she really the motherly monster that Gigachu fell in love with? <laughs> I think not. Uh. It would seem that you presented Mothra with an impossible choice. <laughs> Gigachu will choose love, and since love will find a way, Gigachu will choose to find a way. Oh, let's go live. Let's go live to see if love survives the climactic confrontation. Are you back for more? Yeah. I actually wonder how this will go. Last time it was, can you prove uh, you're equal for a queen now that you're kind of making a parent choose? Mossy choose back for love. Where was Mossy choose first kiss? Mount Kilimanjaro. I, love, I just love that one on the list. Technically correct. The best kind of correct. That kiss was unforgettable. 
What are Masura's love languages? Time and touch. <laughs> Their love is so eloquent. What is Giga Chu's worst habit? Snoring. Hmm, being sedentary? Sedentary? No, snoring. <laughs> ah. Sawing logs makes Masra very uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Yeah, because sorry could be loud. Will Gigachu accept that Masra loves her children more than Gigachu? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm only just coming into a relationship. Ah. Gigachu knows that's a whole lot of love. And I eat love. How is Gigachu suited for Masra? <laughs> Drought tolerant. Tenderness. Gigachu is a big sweetheart. Mm. Oh, look how Mas look how worried Mastra is. Gigachu Gigachu wishes to express what Chu loves most about Mastra. Compassion. Calm passion. Yeah. Mastra's compassion is Gigachu's primary attraction. Again, love wins. Take that, robots. Yay! Gigachu rose to Mechachu's challenge. Oh. And the responsibility of being a parent. Mm. Which is exactly what Basra wanted in a mate. <laughs> The military thought that Gigachu was only in it for the romance. Aww. Gigachu has enough love for a whole family. Also, they destroyed everything the military had and got the eggs back. Oh. And there's nothing stronger than family. Yes. Especially a family of kaiju. Oh. <laughs> Are there any other kaiju families? Mm. I suppose someone would have to play again to find out. Bye bye See you next time. Oh, look at that! Look at the little caterpillars! Achievement! Love is in bloom! Oh, that's adorable. Oh, so many, so many kaiju little babies, and then they take over the world in the sequel. Oh, that's fun. This game seems to go pretty quick, about, like, an hour a route, or an hour a kaiju. But that's fun. That's a nice little game. But I think with that, uh, I'm going to move over to something else to, to finish off the night with. Hmm. I wonder. I guess I could probably also play this game again. Do this other four kaiju sometime. Hmm. Yeah, probably not for next Valentine's. Maybe, maybe just if ever I need a filler little filler segment I could just throw this on for an hour. But yeah. I, I, I guess I can't exit out the credits. I'll just let them roll again. Like, I, I mean, I already said, I like to see the credits. Oh, so you gotta show the, all, give, give credit to all the people who worked on it. Okay. That's enough credit. All right. And with that now, let's move over 